Since the discovery of the homeopathic system by Dr. Honeyman, mother tinctures have been in a use for treating various conditions and also used in preparing further dilutions and potencies. Mother tinctures refers to the herbal extract. They are prepared from vegetable, minerals, animals. It is the first stage in the preparation of a remedy dilution. Now benefits of mother tincture. First, useful in acute and pathological conditions. Second, advanced disease. Third, palliative treatment. And the fourth, external application as an antiseptic healing promoter. Terminal disease in which higher potency of indicated drug or the constitutional drug do not seem to work. Physiological doses to benefits in some situations like high blood pressure, breathlessness, etc. In emergency cases with no time for case taking or the patient not in a position to give history. Also useful in acute exaggerations of chronic troubles. Using teachers, we can retain the patients with us till we study the case well and select the suitable remedy in a high potency. Also helps in youngsters to get more patients and a matter of survival. And if there is a there are scarcity of symptoms to give a higher potency. A better way to apply mother tinctures, I am using minimum drops like 10 to 15 drops in a one fourth cup of water, which give the better result than the large quantity. So dear friends, as a mother tincture, it is extremely helpful in treating various health problems ranging from mild to severe get ready to learn all useful mother teachers dear doctors and students in homeopathy treasure we are starting new series mother teacher a to z let us start with first eclipha indica mother teacher as you know that is prepared from plant called indian eclipha or indian net this remedy for hemorrhages from elementary tract and respiratory organs. Patient feel very weak in the morning and progressive em emaciation. Here the blood bright red in the morning and dark and clotted in afternoon and rectal hemorrhage worse in the morning and hemorrhages having notably more aggravation in the morning. Alterus ferinosa Q. Now it is prepared from the root of plant star grass. This is a great remedy used for the uterine tonic. We give to the mothers 10 drops two times a day. It cures the weakness of the uterus and caused by frequent childbearing and overwork. There is early and painful masses with labor like pain and habitual tendency to abortion. There is a leucoria with a great tiredness and one of the remedy for vomiting during pregnancy. Third mother tincture in our series of mother tincture, Alpha Alpha Q. As you know, this is one of the most popular mother tincture and it produces from a crop alpha alpha and is rich with essential vitamins and nutrients alpha alpha helps in enhancing our immunity and detoxify the body so given as a general tonic to increase appetite especially in children we generally gives and helps to gain weight so it is a fat producer also. 
and it helps in keeping the heart healthy by regulating blood pressure and reducing tension from blood vessels and arteries. Fourth, Alstonia scholaris Q. Now this remedy is prepared from plant which is commonly known as the Dita bark. Now it is good tonic after fevers, especially malaria, indigestion, dysentery and anemia. Passes stool immediately after eating and drinking. Especially we use in children immediately after taking milk. It has anti-cancerous and antipyretic properties. We give 8 to 10 drops 2 or 3 times in a day. Fifth mother tincture, Aposinum. As you know, this is one of the most popular mother tincture. We call it as a diuretics also. Now this remedy is prepared from underground part of an Indian hemp plant, mostly roots. And it is used for heart failure, alcoholisms, asthma and kidney failure. The patient generally chilly, the swelling of feet and asthma due to heart failure. When we use quantity of urine in a kidney failure, we use Eposinum mother tincture very frequently, 8 to 10 drops, 3 to 4 times in a day. Allium sativa mother tincture, as we know that it is made from fresh bulb of garlic as you know garlic is good for heart and it is good remedy for high blood pressure it lower the blood pressure and producing normal sleep so it's more suit to non vegetarian people generally i give 15 to 20 drops three times a day very important another mother tincture as a fortida we know that this is one of the best remedy for the gastric problems and this Q is prepared by dissolving the coarse powder of asafoetida in a strong alcohol. Now remedy for the hysterical dyspepsia and great distension blotting with difficulty in bringing up wind. So it's a good remedy also for increase the milk in the nursing mothers. Generally, I give 15 drops three times a day. Espidosperma, as we know, it is one of the most popular remedy during COVID time. Prepare from plant cuberacho and increase the oxygen capacity in blood. And the patient constantly complains of shortness of breath during exertion. It helps in the dissolving of clot in the blood vessels of lungs which are narrow due to various disease. It is one of the excellent remedy for asthma arising from heart disease known as a cardiac asthma. Generally I use 10 to 15 drops every hour for a few doses during attack and thereafter every 4 hours. Ashoka Junosia mother teacher. Now we know that it, it is made from the bark of an Indian Saraka Indica tree. Now this remedy is very useful in treating conditions related to female reproductive system associated with constipation, headache and vertigo. One of the best remedy during menopause and I recommend it Janosia Asoka uses a 10 to 20 drops two to three times a day depending upon the case. Avena sativa, one of my favorite remedy made from wild oat. Now this remedy I'm using for acute coriza, alcoholism and sleeplessness. Doses are very important in all conditions. For acute coriza, I'm using 20 drops half an hour in hot water. For alcoholism, 10 drops 3 times a day and for sleeplessness 
10 to 20 drops at bed time in warm water. Ashwagandha mother danger. The extract is typically taken from the berries or roots of the Ashwagandha plant, also known as an Indian ginseng. Excellent remedy for mentally overworked people like doctors, lawyers, who have great mental and physical fatigue, poor eating and sleeplessness. It is one of the best remedy for mental tonic for students who cannot fix their attention on any subject or memorize their lessons. Also used for sexual debility, spermatoria, early ejaculations. I use 15 drops of tincture in a half cup of normal water twice daily for minimum three months. Barbaris aquifolium. It prepared from Oregon grape or holy leaf barberry. This is a remedy for skin problem. Everybody knows like pimples, acne, blotches, even psoriasis, eczema, herpes. It stimulates all glands and improves nutrition. Recent studies have also shown it acts as an antifungal and antioxidant. We generally use mother tincture 10 drops 3 times a day and I use it as a local application also approximate 20 drops in a 20 gram of cream and advise to apply twice a day. It gives fantastic result. Barbaris vulgaris prepared from a plant Barbaris vulgari very famous remedy it has action on kidney liver and urinary tract used in the treatment of kidney stones and relieve pain that is associated with stones generally pain in a bladder referring to the thighs especially while urinating and urine is thick mucus and bright red in color we use for gallstone pain also, where the pain in a gallbladder region and worse by pressure and extending to stomach. Mother tincture we use 5 to 10 drops very frequently in acute cases, even every hourly. And for renal calculi, 15 drops 3 times a day. Blata orientalis, the drug is extract from cockroach. Very effective treatment for respiratory infections like asthma, chronic bronchitis or bronchiolitis. It helps in reducing the discharge of thick mucus. Also helps to reduce the difficulties in breathing. And it is rightly said, why should anyone die or suffer from asthma while we got blata in our pharmacy? So use 5 to 10 drops every 15 minutes in acute attack and stop as soon as the improvement starts or reduce the doses. Cactus grandiflorus. It is prepared from cactus grandiflorus flowers and stems. A major therapeutic influence on the heart and arteries and blood vessels. The good remedy for bleeding disorders helps in forming clot quickly and correct the abnormal distributions of blood. For heart condition with violent palpitations, patients feel like that as if the chest is constricting, affects the breathing with palpitations and the pain referring to the left arm. We use this remedy where the blood pressure is also low we use 5 to 10 drops every 15 minutes in attack uh, generally to improve the heart functions we give 15 drops twice a day as a heart tonic calendula officinalis an exceptional wound remedy marigold is prepared from fresh flowering tops and leaves excellent remedy for cuts burns wounds 
and that are open ulcers those who heal very easily helps to promote healing without the formations of any scars many surgeons are using for post operative dressing also keep it as a first aid to stop bleeding after a tooth extraction here the pain is much more in intensity to the injury and prevents the formation of pus i use this 15 drops of calendula mother tincture in a half cup of normal water twice each day for 3 months those who have this thing and for external use also we can use an ointment or a lotion camphor mother tincture it is used as an antidote for every remedy derived from plants in homeopathy the action of this medicine is very famous mark in the various stages of collapse with profuse sweat and weak pulse every part of the body is icy cold to touch still cannot keep any part covered i use 5 to 10 drops in a half cup of water 3 to 4 times in an acute state and can be rub on the skin in a excessive coldness of the body antharis the whole spanish fly is used in making this homeopathic remedy all sort of burn scars with a lot of red hot swelling gangrene eruptions with over cycles and the most important burning in the soles of feet at night i'm using successfully in cases of hair falling it's one of the best remedy in a bunches internally hair falls in a bunches internally with sorainum one dose as a intercurrent externally mix with 10 ml of mother tincture in a 100 ml of oil and applied on the scalp every weekly five drops internally twice daily and externally applied with water or oil for burns cardus marinus mother tincture this mother tincture is prepared from cardus marinus and it has a specific affinity for the liver and gall bladder i'm using this remedy for even varigose veins ulcers and jaundice now cardus establishes a healthy flow of bile and breaks up the tendency to goldstone and even helping in colic the complaints that are caused by the misuse of alcoholic beverages and especially beer as well as treated with help of cardus now here i'm using 10 drops in a half cup of water 3 times a day cianothus americans this remedy known as new jersey tea and this remedy shows the good therapeutic effect on the spleen and liver we use when the pain and complaints are seen on the left side and the good remedy for malaria blood cancer anemia and also helps to reduce the clotting of blood when there is a severe pain in the liver back and spleen region with severe breathlessness excellent remedy or gives results in reducing blood pressure also and controlling the sugar in the urine also also we use as a hair tonic we mix with the hair oil and generally we describe 10 drops in a half cup of water 3 times a day chelidonium majors my favorite remedy for any type of liver and gall bladder problems the prepare from the flowering whole plant of the chelidonium majors plant when the liver is enlarged jaundice due to hepatic or gall bladder obstructions stool generally hard clay colored like sheep dung and the pain shoots up under scapula 
we prescribe 15 drops two times a day in water chimafila another very important and my favorite remedy which prepared from plant chimafila commonly ground holly now this remedy help in a kidney and genital urinary tract problems even in a chronic alcoholism even when when enlarged prostate is there patient have burning pain during urinations much strain before starting and before the flow starts cannot urinate without standing feet wide apart the body inclined forward generally we prescribe very frequently 10 drops every 4 hourly in acute urinary tract infection chionanthus how oh, it is prepared from the bark of the fringe tree very effective remedy which is primarily used for the treatment of severely painful headache with body fatigue ness exhaustion and emotional disturbances chionanthus also used to treat infection of the liver which leads to profuse secretions of bile and treats pain associated with it it treats conditions of the liver such as a jaundice and gallbladder pain also it helps in tremendous improving in digestion and improve appetite this remedy comes between chelidonium and cyananthus we use this mother tincture 10 drops two times a day china offense nalis now it is prepared from dry bark of plant of cinchona offense nalis now we know that it is effective in the treatment of weakness and exhaustion caused due to loss of vital fluids and exhaustive discharges cinchona and ferrum fos are the best remedies that help in improving the hemoglobin who have been excessive anemic due to extreme blood loss during menses i'm using mother tincture very frequently in my patients also it has anti inflammatory properties and it is used in the treatment of inflammations of kidneys and highly useful in relieving pain associated with rheumatism and arthritis people who are predisposed to get nausea vomiting and diarrhea stomach disorders is also effective treatment with the use of cinchona generally i prescribe 10 drops twice a day coca one of the most popular remedy is prepared from the leaves of plant coca and that belongs to family lee I recommend a coca for altitude sickness. The patient suffers headache, dizziness, sleeplessness, palpitations, anxiety, exhaustion, and difficulty in breathing from ascending high altitude. It also preventive for altitude sickness, and it is a great mountaineering sickness remedy. Five drops four times a day generally we prescribe. Another very important indication: exhaustion from mental and physical strains, want of breath, or shortness of breath. Especially useful for aged sportsmen and alcoholics. That is the hoarseness and loss of voice and dyspnea. Generally, I prescribe all the singers who has a overuse of voice. Larynx five drops frequently.